SP500 ES support levels here for you. We have 1, 2, 5, 10, and 20 day hold periods from Monday the 10th of October. And these are for buys or shorts, depending on what we put out. We're going to put either or every day before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. In a moment, we'll show you a trend following system that does the same thing but uses moving averages. These are non moving averages, non trend following, algorithmically generated entry prices. And as you can see from Monday, for one day hold, we've got 36.16. And all the way through to the 20 day hold, we've got 36.33. Uh, these base way these work is you get in assuming your own analysis says it's a good idea and get out worst case at the end of, a, of the next trading day so get in Monday get out worst case Tuesday just before the market closes at a loss or take your profit sooner if you get it same thing all the way across if you did a 20 day get in Monday get out at the end of the trading day on the 20th trading day at a loss or take your profit sooner if you got it so those are the entry prices for non trend following let's go up and take a look at the trend following system We've got the SP500 from Monday the 10th, and it's showing flat with no entry price. You can show, you can see Apple, Tesla shows shorts, Ford is flat, Microsoft's a buy. But the S&P 500 ES, this is on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, it's a futures contract, shows flat with a zero entry price for trend following from Monday on the 10th. We put these out every morning before 7 a.m. at rbamresearch.com. Absolutely free, no credit card required. You can go over there and put your email address in there. There's a link in the description below and get access to them and see if you like them or not. We cover 190 stocks, the major Forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most liquid futures contracts all updated by 7 a.m. If you check early in the evening before, we update most things before six or just after 6 p.m. and BTC cryptos after 8 p.m. the evening before. Again, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. Remember that everything you've seen and heard on here, including our entry prices, are for entertainment purposes only. You can't use them for anything other than entertainment. You should always use your own analysis, and you definitely trade at your own risk.